In this short video, we'll connect Google Tasks to an ATN. You just need to open an ATN on any of the workflows and add a node for which you would like to create credentials. So you're adding this node. After that, uh, you should go to create new credentials. Here, you can see that there are some fields which we need to fill in, and this will do in Google Cloud Console. You go to Google and type Google Cloud Console and find the second link, Google Cloud Console. You go here and you press Start Free. You need to provide your country and also uh, information about the payment, your credit card. It's just going to be used for the verification. You will not be charged any anything by Google. Then this is created and you'll need to create your first project. You click here, my first project, uh, and then new project. You should give the name to the project and press create. A couple of seconds pass and the project is created. After that, you need to configure your auth consent screen. You go basically to API and services and choose auth consent screen. You press get started and you type the name of your application and also uh, provide the, your email address. For the audience, you select ex external and for the contact information, uh, you provide just the address of your email. Continue, create, and this consent screen is created as well. After that, you should press create auth client here provide the type of the applications, web application, the name of your application. And after that, the most important element is this authorized redirect URI. You press it here, you go back to N10 and you copy this address from the screen. You go back, you paste it here and you press create. Just like that, this step is also done. On the next step, you will need to publish your application. You should go to audience, And in the audience, uh, you should press publish app. It will be now in production and not in testing. This is very important not to forget. The next step is enabling API. You go uh, here to the API and services library. You search for your application for which you're enabling uh, the uh, NA10. Uh, you go to the application and uh, you press enable. After the application is enabled, all you need to do is to provide the access details to Netan. You know to do so, you just go to credentials. Under credentials, you can find uh, your client. You press this button and you copy client ID. You go back to Netan, you paste it in the client ID field. Then you copy client secret. You go back to Netan again and you paste the client secret. You press sign in with Google. You will see that the application is not authorized or verified, but you still choose to proceed. You select if anything needs to be selected uh, to grant access to an attend, press continue, and like that, it's done. 